Hi YouTube! So, um, I am making a story time about my relationship and I'm just going to jump into it because I recorded this video too many times and it's kind of aggravating me. Which is a good thing because now I have the steps of everything that happened and I'm going to cut this video in half so this video won't be dangerously long. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start. So we met September 2013 at Job Corp and we started talking. We kind of jumped into just talking and um, we didn't tell anybody that we was talking because we didn't want anybody in our business. We didn't want anybody just, you know, Job Corp was small. So everybody knew everybody. Everybody knew everybody's business and who everybody was talking to and who people was having sex with. And it just wasn't a good environment when it came down to drama. So um, we just kept it on the down low until the next month, October 2013, we went to Hollering Horror Nights in Orlando, a Universal. And, um, you know, that was our first time kind of kissing. For the first time and holding hands for the first time and you know everybody saw us and had so much to say when we got back to job corps and that's when we made it official and you know we kind of jumped into a relationship which i didn't understand why we jumped into a relationship but yeah um after we we were talking we known each other for two weeks before we got into a relationship, which just didn't make any sense. Because in two weeks, you don't know anybody. I don't know what type of person he is, and he don't know what type of person I am. But anyways, um, someone came to me, and it was really weird because she was new. But she felt comfortable enough to tell me because she knew that he was lying. And she came to me, I mean, she was new, but she had been there for about a month. So I got to know her a little bit. I think we're closer now than back then. Um, she came to me and she told me, Priscilla, you know, okay, let me tell you guys. He told everybody that he was from London, UK. So it was just like, okay. So around that time of him meeting me, I think I was fresh out of chemotherapy. So I was kind of, what can I say? I was kind of just like chilling, going back and forth to um, the doctor because being at Job Corps, I was always back and forth by myself. So um, yeah. Um, I said that because, you know, as we got to know each other, he told me that his mother have cancer and basically she's on her deathbed. So it was just like with him, everything I would say, he had something to say afterwards. Like, okay, I told him that I modeled when I was young. It was nothing serious. Nobody had ever really heard of the you know, some people heard of it, but it wasn't really popular. No one really heard of the people that I was modeling for. So he told me he was a Calvin Klein model. And I was just like, okay, but if you're a Calvin Klein model, why the hell are you at Job Corps? What the hell went wrong in your life to where you had to end up at Job Corps? And he was like, well, I was giving my mother all of my money. I'm like, but still, still, Job Corps is a second chance. You don't need a second chance you have money to afford any college you want to go to if you're a Calvin Klein model so since you're a Calvin Klein model you're telling me I can google you right now and it's going to say you're a Calvin Klein model so anyways um that was before I'm kind of jumping I'm not trying to jump um this the girl I was just telling you guys about she came to me and she was like Priscilla you know I went to school with him and I was like, wait, no, but he's from London. He never been to Miami. She was like, Priscilla, I went to school with this boy. She was like, how do I know? Because she had a crush on him. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy. And I'm like, okay. I didn't go to him about it because I, I wanted to dig deeper, like kind of do investigation myself. 
So this new girl came and they didn't have enough room for her. So she was in my room and they told me to basically show her the ropes. And, you know, she was really cool. And um, she told me, she was like, so I heard you date such and such. And I'm just like, you just got here. What the? And she's like, yeah, he was my first boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, really? I was interested in her because, you know, I could ask her questions. I'm like, so you're from UK? She's like, no. I'm like, but that's where he's from. She's like, no. And I'm like, what? Wait, what? She was like, no, he's not from UK. He's from here. And I'm like, oh, this is confusing. So um, I said, okay. I still didn't go to him about it. I decided that I was going to do my own research because some things just didn't fit right with me, especially when I was telling you guys every time I would say something, he'd make up a story. I was just like, okay. So when I told him about my whole cancer thing and my whole cancer journey and, you know, showing him pictures and videos and stuff, you know, he, that's when he told me that he had a heart murmur. Actually, no, he didn't tell me that he had a heart murmur. He told me that he had heart surgery. And I was just like, oh, really? That's interesting. And I was like, okay, so I'm guessing you have that scar, you know, going down your heart. And he was telling me, yeah, he was like, um, I have my sister's heart. And I was like, okay, okay, that's awesome that she, you know, was able to give you her heart and you're alive and you're well, like God bless you. And then he started crying and I'm like, what the hell did I just say? Like he started crying because he told me that his mother lied to him and told him that he has his father's heart. And I'm like, why are you crying then? Still, you have a heart. Like, you're living, you're breathing. Who cares who heart you have? Like, you know, stuff like that just gets me. Because he... Again, why do we have to lie about simple things? So, um... I decided to do my own investigation on him. I told him... It was one day we were sitting by a fountain and I told him I said CJ is there anything you would like to tell me and he kind of paused and he said no really quickly and I was like okay and ever since then ever since he said no that gave me the okay to go and do investigation myself so I was like okay so you know I decided that I was going to go on Google because you can Google any and everybody nowadays, except if they don't really have social media. But with him, he's a big fan of social media. So me and my friend actually Googled him and my friend told me it was at night and we had to go inside. Excuse me. My friend told me, he said, Priscilla, Google him and tell me what you find and I'll Google him and I'll tell you what I find and I was like, okay So he called me a couple of minutes after and he was like Priscilla go on this site So I went on this the site and it said that he was from Miramar, Florida And it showed pictures of when he was younger and a group of his friends and it's one girl stood out to me And I was looking at the picture. I sat there looking at the picture so hard because I'm like, I know this girl I know this girl and I did know her because I went to elementary school with her and we were really good friends and I'm like oh my god like she grew up to be so pretty but anyway it was so crazy because you know I knew her and he knew her but I never told him that I know one of his friends and it's crazy because he still keeps in contact with her to this day but um when I seen the pictures I was like okay but before then, that night, I had asked God to give me hints, give me clues, like, you know, kind of help me out. I'm like, God, if this dude is not for me, let me know. So ever since then, stuff started popping up. Like, it stuff didn't make sense to me. Nothing made sense to me anymore. So it's like one day, let me tell you guys, I'm giving you guys examples. One day we went to the mall. He told me that he had never been to the mall in Miami. He was like, well, since this is your city, 
showed me around. And I'm like, I told him straight up, I can't show you around because I hadn't been in Miami for like a while. When we moved from Miami, I was 12 years old. So it's like, I have been in Tallahassee ever since. Um, I'm like, you're getting to know Miami. I'm getting to know Miami. Hell, let's do it together. So we, we went to the mall. We went to Aventure Mall in Miami. And it was, we were just chilling, walking around. And we met this girl. And she was really short and light-skinned. She was really pretty. And she was very nice, you know. And they, they were interacting. And the way they interacted kind of sparked something for me. Not I'm not a jealous person, but... Something was just like in my head it, and I realized that it was God telling me that that was his ex-girlfriend. And I'm just like, this is so crazy right now. So, okay, after we met her, I was just like, oh, so who is that? And he was like, oh, that's a model from from um UK. He was so excited saying it. And I was like, okay, I'm just at that slide. So we met another girl and they started interacting but they wasn't as interested in each other like the last him and the last girl and you know she was kind of rude you know but i i didn't want to say anything to her because she wasn't interested at all i was more interested in him and you know so i asked him again like as they were talking god in my ear like priscilla this is yet another ex-girlfriend so I'm like, this is getting even funnier. So I asked him, who is that? Oh, it's another um model. He's like, it's so crazy how they're all coming from UK, coming down here like me. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it is crazy. So as we're leaving, this dude yells his name and he looks, he's like, oh, da, 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 da. And I'm just sitting here like, God was telling me, Priscilla, that is a homeboy from school. And I was like, okay. So he was like, oh, that's my brother. That's my brother. He didn't say anything about a model. He didn't say anything about London. I think that kind of slipped his mind. And he was, that's when that Miami kicked in. And he was just like, that's my brother. That's my brother. And I was just like, see, you done slipped up. So when we got back, when we was, when we got on the bus, I got, I was really quiet. And he knew something was wrong. I was mad. He knew something was wrong. So he was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I was just like, nothing. I was just quiet, just sitting there looking out the window, like. So when we got back, I kind of, I went in my room and I put the pieces together. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. So I put the pieces together, but I didn't tell him until I had everything in the bag. And I went to one of my, one of the instructors there and I asked her, I'm like, can you tell me where he's from? And she was like, well, he said he's from London, UK. And I'm like, but is that what his paperwork say? And she was like, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. That's like, we can't do that. And I was like, okay, I understand. So I was like, dang, I have to do something else. Like I have to figure out, you know, how can I figure out where this guy is from? So I got a text message. And it was my friend, Shanae from Orlando shout out to Shanae <laughs> so Shanae um she wrote she texted me she was like hey what's up and I was like what's up she was like hey how do you know CJ and I'm like that's my boyfriend and she was like oh that's great and I was like how do you know CJ and she's like oh we grew up together and he's my ex-boyfriend and I'm just like ah uh, hell here we go so i'm like you know what this is my perfect opportunity for me to ask her since she not only dated him but she grew up with him so i called her and i was like hey i want to ask you some questions about him because i feel like he's lying to me and she told me she's like priscilla he is a good liar and i was just like oh i figured that out by myself <laughs> i wish i would have talked to you before heads up but you know things happen for a reason so I asked her, I was like, okay, so do he have brothers and sisters? She was like, no, girl, he's an only child. So I'm like, okay. I was like, did he have a heart transplant? And she was like, no. And I'm like, who lies about that? And I was like, okay, well, do his family live in the UK? She was like, girl, he's never been there. He's from Miramar, Florida. He's never been to Miramar. And I was like, I mean, he's never been to UK. 
And I was like, but he said that he has his father's heart. She was like, girl, he never met his father. He don't know his father. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, huh? Ugh. What? So what I did was, I went to him and I showed him the text messages and he automatically got mad. And he was like, yeah, I dated her and she moved to Orlando without telling me and she cheated on me. And I'm like, what that gotta do with me though? Or what I'm showing you, I don't care what the hell she did to you. <laughs> that doesn't matter to me. So I'm like, okay. I still kind of didn't go to him about anything that I had just found out. I'm like, thank you, Shanae. I love you for this. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. So, um after that, it was one day I was sitting at the fountain by myself, kind of putting the pieces together in my head. I I needed time away from him because me and him were always like this. He was always with me. So, I finally had free time. And it was at night, and I kind of noticed he was leaving. And I'm like, he told me that he don't have no family here. He don't have no friends here. Where the hell is this nigga going? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Where the hell is this dude going? So he came back with a lot of stuff. And I'm just like, wait, huh? What's going on? So I asked him about it. He's like, oh yeah, my cousin came to bring me the rest of my stuff. You're telling me your cousin came all the way from London to bring you your stuff? That's kind of crazy. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, mm, thank you. You just gave me another piece to add to this puzzle. And then it was another time when he told me that him and his cousin was going to look for TVs. I think that he forgot to kind of... What the freak was that? Okay. He forgot about his London lie and he was starting to go back to being from Miami. But he failed to realize, I don't know he's from Miami, so he think, I already know, but he don't know why. People keep calling me, interrupting my freaking video. But, um, yeah. He forgot to tell, he forgot that he's from London himself. So he was like, oh, my cousin just invited me to go look for TVs with him and I'm gonna go. And I was like, okay, go ahead and go. That was another piece to add to the puzzle. I was just like, this boy don't understand that he's slipping up. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. So after that, you know, Time kind of passed. I'm still giving him chances to, you know, give me more proof to ask the puzzle. So it was one time he started hysterically crying. And I'm like, what's what's going on? Like, what what is happening? And he told me that his cousin died in UK. She was walking around at night and she had got shot. I don't really remember the story, but I just know it was a girl and she got shot. And he was like, I told her not to do that. I told her not to dress like that. She always dressed like a hoe and stuff like that. And I'm like, wait, what? So he was crying his eyes out like somebody had just died. Nobody died, guys. No one died. So I'm like, okay. I told him a story about my cousin that I'm still upset with to this day about his death because everyone kept telling me different stories and I kind of got teary eyed. That was me being straight up with him and he was lying to me, but I knew he was lying to me. So that was another piece to add to the puzzle. And um, the other time was when everybody had found out. No, 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 this was after everybody found out I had cancer and everything like that. He he started crying again, guys, hysterically crying again. So I this is when we was in culinary. Actually, this is my culinary shirt that I have on right now. But um, I was in the dining room talking to my best friend and some other people. I didn't know what was going on in the classroom. So he was hysterically crying. So they took him to the chef. And the chef was like, CJ, you know what's going on? And he was like, my mother has cancer and da 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 
And she was like, okay, well, what hospital is she in? And he gave her the hospital and she called the hospital and they told her, I'm sorry, ma'am, but there is nobody by this name here at this hospital. So she was telling him, you know, you don't have to lie about that and stuff like that. So he was still crying and he left out of culinary. So one of the students came to me and was telling me everything that was going on. So he was like, oh, yeah, and chef wants you. So it was so embarrassing to hear it come out of chef's mouth mouth because it's like she was asking me, Priscilla, why is he lying? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, chef, I honestly, I don't know why he's lying. And she was like, do you know? And I'm like, I know that he's lying. I'm just waiting to kind of bring it out of him. I think my the last straw was when he told me that about, you know, this one of the um one of the people who worked at Job Corps, you know, what they did together. That was my last straw that pissed me off to the max because I feel like, okay, if you work for a facility like Job Corps, why the hell are you doing things with students? Like, are you that desperate? That's when I realized, okay, I'm done. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. And I went to a staff member about it. And when I went to a staff member, they kind of asked him about it and he told them no. And they came back to me like Priscilla, he told us no. So I was like, okay. So I went to him and I said, did you lie to me and tell me that you did that with her? Did you lie to me? And he was just like, we did, you know, I'm sorry. And, blah, blah, blah. and I was just like, okay. So that next morning I went to him with everything. Are you from Miramar or are you from London? He said, I'm from Miramar. Do you have brothers and sisters? No, I'm an only child. And it was just like, everything started to unfold and I finally had the evidence to throw in his face like why are you lying to me why are you lying you are what why are you lying to me and he his excuse was he didn't want to seem like some regular Miami boy and I was like I am some regular Miami girl what the freak so I made him go and tell all of his friends that he lied to them. I mean, if you want to be with me still, you need to go and tell your real friends that you lied to them. So it's just like everybody, you know, laughed at him and, you know, talked about him. And honestly, it was just me and him because after that, he really didn't have any real friends. I think he just he could count his real friends on his fingers because everybody was just like, I can't deal with that. And they kind of distance themselves with him i gave him another chance and no, 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 no i just jumped crap but okay in november i had invited him to um fort lauderdale with my granddad's family and we went to um thanksgiving and he was telling everybody yeah you know i'm from london and you know i was so proud like yeah, this is my dude. So after everything unfolded, we broke up and I was pissed off. This was in December. We broke up and I was pissed off at him because of everything that had happened and the way he lied and what he was lying about. I just felt like it was no point of it. So what I did was we had, it was winter break and I went back to Tallahassee. And so I decided, you know, just come up here with, my family and I wanted him to be around a legit family I wanted him to see how I you know my I wanted him to be around my family see how I react see how you know my family react with me and you know just be around a close-knit family so I brought him to Tallahassee and you know it kind of was a good thing for him I thought that he would stop lying and, you know, it had gotten better, but 2014 hit. And guys, this video is kind of getting ridiculously long, so I am going to end it in a couple of minutes, but um, when 2014 hit, it was kind of like a new thing for us. I told him that we leave the lies in 2013 and we bury it there, and he was like, okay. 
So 2014 hit, it was like a new thing for us. We were coming back as a couple and it had gotten better. It had gotten a lot better, but he was still doing the same things he used to do. Like he was still lying about stupid crap. He was still hysterically crying. When he hysterically cried, that's when you know a lie is about to erupt. And, you know, it just, I was embarrassed because everybody was now used to when he cried like that. Everybody was now used to the lies and they would now come to me like, Priscilla. And I'm just like, whatever. So in 2014, I had gotten a job in April and I left in May. So we had broken up. I don't remember why we broke up, but we had broken up and I was kind of pissed off and hurt and he was pissed off and hurt. But, you know, I was more focused on just trying to get myself together. With him, he eventually, you know, slept with another girl but did not tell me until 2015 so guys i will tell you the rest in another video so i'll see you guys in another video